Uh, hey guys, it's me, Brenna, again, and I guess today I wanted to share with you about human design and an introduction to it. Um, just really based on what I've been learning about it, but I, I really just want to give an introduction to it. I also want to give you resources for um, a really good free report. It's like 50 pages or so long, and it's phenomenal. I'm going to list that all in the description. And also list you another channel that um, has great videos and it's one of the guys who actually worked with Ra um, and so he produces some of the uh, content too that I've been watching that's been extra really helpful for me as well. So human design is a comprehensive system for understanding yourself and others by blending ancient wisdom with modern science. Developed in 1987 by Ra, formerly Robert Allen Krakauer, Human design combines elements of astrology, the I Ching, the Kabbalah, the chakra system, and quantum physics. It offers insights into how you are energetically designed to interact with the world, make decisions, and fulfill your purpose. Some key components of human design is the body graph. It, the central tool in human design is the body graph, which is a chart created using your birth data. It represents your unique energy blueprint, showing how energy flows through you and how you're wired to function. Types. There are five main energy types in human design, each with its own strategy for navigating life. Um, there's a manifester, uh, innovators who initiate and bring new ideas into the world. There are generators, are builders with sustainable energy driven by passion and satisfaction. There's manifesting generators, which is a hybrid of a manifester and a generator, generator fast-paced multitaskers. Um, projector is a gu guides who ex guides who excel at managing and directing the energy of others. There's also reflectors, um, and they mirror. They're like mirrors of their environment, and they deeply connected to their surroundings. Uh, there's also on the body graph there's centers, and these um, centers contain nine energy centers on that body graph, similar to chakras that represent aspects of life like communication, emotions, and identity. And these centers can be defined, which is like a consistent, steady energy in them, or they can be open, which is like an adaptive, an adaptive center. Uh, there's also profiles. So your profile is like a personality archetype. Uh, consisting of two numbers and it describes your conscious and unconscious traits and how you learn and relate to others. Mine is, I happen to be a sacral generator uh, with a profile of one three. Um, there's, that's the thing too, it has a strategy and authority. A strategy is the best way for your type to interact with the world. So mine is a generator and my best way is to wait to respond. So mine is to respond what comes to me, not to chase it or seek it. And authority is your unique decision-making style based on how your energy works. And so that would be related to my sacral center in the body graph. There's also a not-self theme, and each type of um, body graph style has a signature theme, like what feels good to them and a not self theme, like what feels out of alignment. And uh, for example, a generator thrives on satisfaction and I feel frustrated when misaligned. So when I'm trying to make something happen, um, when I really just need to set it down and move on to something else that I have energy for, I will feel frustrated if I can't make any progress and I'm trying to make it happen. And it's just not, not my energy is not for at that moment. Um, another piece of the body graph are gates and channels. And these represent specific qualities and potential life themes, um, linking the energy centers in a unique way. And uh, so then some of the benefits to human design is self-awareness. It helps you understand your strengths, weaknesses, and life purpose uh, at better relationships. Uh, by understanding yours and others' design, you can improve communication and empathy. And it, it, yeah, it just gives you way more empathy to understand that people are unique and different and there are ways to connect with everybody. Um, aligned decisions, decision making, uh, teaches you to trust your inner authority rather than external pressures and to be intrinsically motivated instead of trying to be maybe how the conditions or how the world has um, kind of influenced us to want to be. 
uh, and deconditioning. It encourages letting go of societal expectations to live authentically. Um, so that's the, the general idea of it, the introduction of it, and um, definitely want to link those for you below. That free report is something I just stumbled on recently, and it's actually the most interpretive that I've stumbled on, and I've gone through human design stuff quite a bit. Um, I have a few resources. The first one I'm going to list is from human.design.com, I believe, um, and that one's the best one I've found so far. There's also a couple other sites and apps that are also really good as well uh, that allow you to play with things and get more information. I'll list those too because they're, they're worth noting and they're all free. Um, and that's all. Uh, happy human design. I'd love to hear your comments on it. And I plan to keep exploring this myself. It's something I keep um, coming back to time and time again. I take in so much information and I run with it and I grow and I change with it. And I see what fits me and what doesn't. And then I let it go for a while and I live life. And then I come back to it and add some additional things that, that really make sense to me. So, um, yeah. Share, share your design and authority below. And I hope this was helpful and you find the resources uh, uh, really great. <laughs> see you later. Bye.